Perl tutorial part 33 file test operators okay so in our work directory here we've got our script we've got our folder and we've got some files now file test operators can retrieve information about files and directories so the first one is we can check whether to see whether a file exists or not or whether a directory exists so we can simply print now this is the e file test operator and we want to check whether our file.txt exists so if this is true it will return a 1 and if it's not it won't return anything so let's run this and yes it returns a 1 because our file does exist and if our file does not exist it does not return anything so that's a very useful function to check whether a file exists now this can also apply to a directory so we can check to see whether directory 1 exists and it does we get the 1 now we can write a little if else statement that will help us check whether a file exists and we can print out a response okay so we can say if the file exists let's print file exists else file doesn't exist okay so let's run the statement and then instead of printing out a 1 if it's true or nothing if it's false we can get okay so we get file exists and we get 1 from printing up here so to any of these file test operators we can apply apply an if else statement now I'll just put a little new line character in here now I'd like to show you a few more file test operators now we can check whether a file has zero size with the Z file test operator so this will return a 1 if this file has zero size or, or return nothing if it doesn't so let's run this okay well that file has zero size because we've returned a 1 another very useful file test operator is the S file test operator now this will return a non-zero size file and this will actually tell us the size of the file so we have a file here of non-zero size our file 2 which is 242 bytes so let's change this to file 2 
and run our S file test operator and this should tell us how many bytes our file is Two hundred and forty two bytes. Now we can test whether a file or a directory is a directory. So with the D file test operator, so obviously this file.txt is not a directory. So let's run this and we get nothing come through here. Now if we change this to directory 1 because we have directory 1 and if we run this then we should get a 1. We get 1. So that will test whether a file is a directory or not. So the if else statement can be applied to any file test operator and, and there's quite a few file test operators but I would say the most useful is the E file test operator to check whether a file exists and then probably the Z and the S file test operators.